today's video I'm going to show you uh, how to put a file uploader in uh, Google Sheet and uh, in this file uploader you can upload a file and uh, get the file information and uh, put the file information in the spreadsheet okay so let me show you the, the final product here I have the script I have a file uploader uh, function and uh, uh, once I run this function you will going to open a sidebar uh, a file upload sidebar here you can choose a file from uh, your computer okay let me try a test test file for this uh, email a PNG so for this picture let me open it and upload this file so this file is uploading this file and now we have the result for the upload so the file is uploaded and you have the file name you have the file ID you also get the URL to the file and you get the size and you get the, the date and the time when the file is created okay if you check uh, the folder here you should be able to see the file uploaded all right so uh, that's the the basically the all the functions are functional function in this uh, in this tool and uh, let me show you how to uh, how to do it in the app script so you go you go to tools script editor and uh, you should be able to see the code here all right so in in this code.js file if all if i all the script and uh, let me show you let me explain the code to you so for the first one is to show the sidebar so if I run this function, we're going to show the sidebar like this, okay? And uh, for this sidebar, we have a HTML template. So this template is is created from this sidebar.html. All right. Since we are using this uh, create template from file, we have to uh, convert this template to a HTML output. So we're going to use this evaluate function. And we're going to set the title for this uh, uh, for this HTML template, and you will see this is the title name file uploader, right? So uh, you get the UI of the spreadsheet, and you show the sidebar with this uh, HTML inter user interface. And uh, let let's go to the sidebar.html file. So all the all this HTML code and uh, we also have some script here and uh, they're very simple HTML code here so first uh, in the body here we have a sidebar uh, here we are using a class uh, not a class a style uh, it's called a Google uh, CS add-on add-on CSS I think you can search it and you should be able to find this uh, documentation for this CSS. So I like to use this because it's it's a standard uh, CSS package for Google add-on. So you just copy, you can copy this link and add it to your HTML file header head. And uh, if you don't know how to use this class, uh, this CSS uh, package, you can read this. Uh, documentation here is had a lot of examples here you can you can check and uh, you can copy some code to your code okay so here we have a div uh, we have an input uh, the type is file so this input is for uh, this one for this uh, file uploader so you can choose a file and uh, so this is uh, this is a uh, input with type file and I also give it an ID file 
And the next one uh, is for the button. So it's also input, but the type is button. And the ID is upload. Also give a value, upload. So you can see this button is upload. Uh, with upload caption in, in there. So we also give, a, give it a class. So its class is action. Action is a blue button here. And uh, uh, we also give it a on, on click function here. So once it's clicked, we're going to, we're going to run this function upload files. All right. So at last we got, we have a paragraph. Uh, with class arrow, so for this arrow it's going to be a red text and uh, we can also give a, an ID for message okay so that's all the, all the details uh, all the content in this HTML, HTML text okay and the last part is the script file to run the upload function okay here we got the file uploader uh, so this file uploader so we get the element by ID so the ID is a file here so it's this input element and uh, for the message we also get the element by ID for this message so we're going to show some messages to the end user okay so now we have the function to upload files in here first uh, once this button is clicked once this function is running so we're going to give a message like uploading file so this message is to end user that means uh, our function is running and uh, the end user knows that uh, we are trying to upload in the files and uh, for, uh, for this this file so for this file uploader it we're going to uh, it we're going to have a property like files uh, it's an array so we only have one file so we're going to get the first one for the file and here we're going to use the file reader API to create a new file reader so for reader so here we're going to uh, we're going to try to uh, read the file as text All right so once this file is uh, is loaded we're going to run another function so uh, this function we're going to run this is this is going to run a script from the client side so we're going to use google script run and then we're going to run this function run this uh, upload files to google drive function uh, with uh, three parameters here so the first one is the reader the file reader result so this is the file content the first parameter and the, the second one is the file name and the last one is the file type okay so uh, this function is a uh, is a good is an app script function. So it is uh, but it is run it is uh, run from the it is run from the client side. So it is run from this uh, sidebar. Okay, once I clicked, I'm going to run this function. So let me show you uh, what what inside this function let's go back to the code.js file and here you can see this function uh, upload files to google drive you will, you will have three uh, parameters here uh, i think i don't need this size one all right i'm going to need the data name and type all right so let's remove this log and this data, as it, uh, it just mentioned, it should be the re the file reader API get the result, get the file content, and uh, the file content will be read read as text. Okay, so and the name and type. All right. Once we have the data, we have the name and we have the type. We can use this utility utilities API to create a new blob with data type and name. And once we have this blob. We can create a new file. So uh, the folder I'm going to create a new file in this folder. For, so for this folder, we're going to get the folder by ID. So for this folder, uh, you can. So I'm I'm uh, using this folder for uploads. So you need to change the ID of this folder. So for, for me, is uh, this ID is this folder ID. So 
you may need to change this uh, this ID if you are trying to upload the files to your your Google Drive. Okay, so you have to change it because you don't have access to my folder. So you are you are going to fail to uh, upload this file to my drive. I think uh, if you are trying to copy this code to your uh, to your own uh, spreadsheet, you need to change this uh, this ID. Okay, so once you change this this ID, you can create a new file. So folder create a file with this blob. And uh, once we create a new file, we can get a, a lot of information about this file. So like the file get name and uh, file ID, file URL, and file size. Also, you can get the created date and time. And uh, you can add more. So if you try to new file, get information, you can go to all this kind of information it's like download URL or other kind of stuff here. You can even get its owner, get name. All right, so a lot of stuff you can add. So you just put it in this array. So this is a raw data. And finally, you just append this raw data to your uh, to this spreadsheet. Okay, so we get the active spreadsheet and get the sheet by name. So we get the data sheet. So if you change this name here, you also need to change the name here or uh, this line of code cannot uh, find the sheet in the spreadsheet. So we're going to throw you an error. And uh, last, we're going to append row with this row data and uh, you're going to the final result. So that's basically, that's all for uh, all the code for this uh, little tool. And uh, finally, I'd like to show you uh, the last function so for this one so uh, we here have a do get function so if we have this function uh, we can deploy uh, we can deploy this uh, script as a web app so you can use a once you depl uh, deployed this uh, as a web app you can use it in your uh, web applications so let me show you how to do it. So you just click uh, publish and deploy as web app. And uh, since I already uh, deployed it, so I'll, I will get a, here. I'm get a URL for this uh, web app. So you can change the access. Who can access this app? Okay. So here I'd like to only for myself. So you can change it to anyone, right? And uh, you also can change the owner uh, who uh, we're going to execute this app. So here I'm choose I'm just keep it as myself. And once you get this URL, you can copy it, and uh, you can use it in your web app. If I try to uh, visit this uh, URL, I should get a similar uh, so function here. It's very similar to to this one so for this one it's just a HTML file sidebar in your Google sheet and for this one is a web app and you can uh, add this to your web applications okay so here you also can use it so you try to upload something else so let's try to upload this image and uh, try to do this upload so it's running and uh, once we take so long all right let's give it some time I think it depends on the network speed and the file size I think okay so basically, uh, the sidebar here and the uh, web applications here uh, are the same stuff because uh, 
here you can see uh, we are using this same template from the sidebar and uh, I'm going to return HTML output file just like this uh, user interface here uh, it's a template evaluate and still title file uploader still trying to upload don't know what's wrong so let me try to upload another one uh, with sidebar, I'm not sure why it cost me so long. Let's try to upload this email.html file. Why upload? All right, this one is, is so quick because the file size is just a is, is empty file. What's wrong with this one? All right, let's try it in here. Uh, the same file upload okay uh, I think this one is done don't know uh, yes it's uploaded but it costs too <laughs> too much time but finally it's here all right so this one is uploading uh, I'm not sure what's wrong with it and I don't even get the file uh, file size of it and uh, I didn't get the time What's wrong with this file? Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, maybe this file is, uh, is too big. Okay, it's 12 megabytes. And, uh, but it's working, as you can see here. So, and uh, I think that's all for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please, uh, please leave it uh, in, in my video. Okay, and if you uh, need my help or support with some code, uh, you also can leave a comment or you can send an email to me or I have a f I also have a Google form I think you can check in the description of the, the, the video. You can find a link to the, the form so you can submit, submit something here, some, something there so I can, I can help you out if I can. Okay, so that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.